addictive. It's, uh, you know, worse than any drug I think you could ever take because it, it truly is, it's one of them situations where probably 75% of the people, if you make one trip down the track, you will definitely make another one without a doubt. We race for these Q stickers and treat mainly it's in the top 10 position. But I didn't get one in 2003 because I was pregnant with Lacey and I still raced while I was pregnant. I made it all the way up till I was nine months pregnant. When Lisa was racing and while she was pregnant, I, I, was, I was proud of her. She would have been miserable <laughs> taking the season off. I enjoyed watching the people that would make comments or <laughs> that would be upset because they got beat by a, a pregnant lady. <laughs> One guy complained that you're not allowed to have two people in the race car. My passion for racing began when I was seven years old and I watched a movie called Right on Track with Erica Enders in it. And I asked my parents if I could race when I got older, but they had no idea what racing was. I want to be a teacher because I um, can work on weekdays and on weekends I can go racing. I went to um, a national race for the older, for the big cars, and I saw a dragster that was there that said Megan on the side of it. And I was like, look, Dad, there's a girl named Megan that's getting a dragster. And he's like, no, that's your drag strip. When I was 15 years old, um, I went over to the drag strip to, to go racing. I'll probably stop racing around like 70. I went to my friend and I said, uh, in order for me to race here, I have to have a driver's license. He said, well, just make up a number and put it on there. They're not going to check it. So that's what I did. And I was racing at the age of 15. I want to be a mechanic because my dad is one. And if my car breaks, I'll fix it. He told me to hold on, and then he punched it, and the car just took off, and it threw me back in my seat. And it's just like when you go down a roller coaster, when you get a tickle in your belly, and I just like squealed and was so excited, and I was like, this is so much fun. I need to get a car. pretty expensive sport. There's a saying that you can take a millionaire and put him in racing and make him just moderately wealthy. The uh, engine broke a lifter, ruined the camshaft, and uh, had to tear the engine down and rebuild it. That $30 part cost me uh, about $1,000 time it was all said and done. That's drag racing. Hey, Gina, can you give me a Mountain Dew, please? Make sure it's cold. It brings you together closer as a family and a team because we, we have to work together as a team in order to even get it all together to go pursue our dream. truck is eighty to a hundred thousand uh, dollars their entry fee is a pittance I'll call it a pittance and based on the their truck cost it's thirty dollars to come in and race all day long so a thirty dollar investment to try to win five hundred I think that's a pretty good odds uh, especially if there's uh, let's say 70 70 trucks you're competing against uh, it's good odds it's better than any lottery that I know of is coming down and the race is started and your hands are gripping on the steering wheel that's like the most exciting part about it and you go down the track and you do your job and the wind light blinks on then that's the most thrilling part of it because you actually won the race and you did what you you know set out to do to go there <laughs> I don't see myself racing electric cars. Driving a V8 powered classic car versus a uh, hybrid electric car is just the, the horsepower, the, the feeling when you push on the throttle that you're going to actually go somewhere.
there's something about racing that the noise and the the smells of the racing fuel and the the noise of the burnouts and you smell the rubber burning it's it's just part of racing it's part part of what we like if anybody's called you down the line or moving you're dq I don't care. From what point? From what point are you not allowed to move? <laughs> I'll put that. Once you get in the I'll lane, and stop. You're done. and you say, honey, look, I just won by six ten thousandths of a second. <laughs> yes. Do you know how? Do you, you can't even think. Just squat. Six ten thousandths of a second? I mean, what is that? <laughs> I've won a lot of money. Uh, a lot of money. And I've just accomplished a lot, and that's all I can ask for. I, don't, I never expected any of this, and to come out with what we have is amazing to me. The feeling of winning is really good. Um, you just get so happy, you don't even know what to do. You just have to try it. Everybody in this whole world just needs to try it one time. <laughs> because then you will understand exactly why our whole life revolves around it. When you lose, it's, it's frustrating. It, it means that your racing day's over and you gotta wait till next week to, <laughs> to come back and try again. In drag racing, you have to learn how to be a good loser because you lose a lot. And each race is a little bit different. Out of 200 cars, there's only one car that's going to be a winner. And everybody else is a loser, even the runner up. There's only one winner. We just lost. <laughs> just lost. And that was for a gambler's race. It paid $500 to win today. And I don't know if it's the wind or the weather, uh, what's going on here today. Well, Labor Day weekend's over for us. We're going to go home now. We didn't win like we planned on doing this weekend, but uh, had a pretty good weekend. <laughs> you know, with the economy the way it is and just, just the expense, I just, I just can't keep doing it. We, we did what we could for him for as long as we could, but uh, I don't I don't know where where it's going to go from here. <laughs>